I've never choreographed for a group, but I have choreographed for myself before. I was really grateful to have such a great group of girls. I have 11 girls. Whenever I hit a challenge, they always help me and they gave me suggestions and really good advice. Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou. It really inspired me when I read it. It's very descriptive, so I came up with movement from there. So for the process, I created phrases inspired from this poem and I taught it to the dancers. And then I've experimented with different formations and dynamics and canons and then kind of saw how it went together with the music. I worked with Ella Kell. I was very drawn to Jacqueline when she was talking about her idea and I thought her concept was great because she wanted to make it very empowering. Whenever I met Jacqueline, I already had a near finished piece, but I really loved her idea and I wanted to stick with it. So I tried to go off of those non-traditional aspects, like it can still be all in these minor chords, but still reflect the speaker's beauty. I think the most difficult part for me was putting together the movement with the music so that it synchronized well. Sometimes it was a little difficult to find when to put my movement with the music, just to make sure that it really fulfilled the composer and my vision. So as choreographers and composers, what we kind of do is similar in both relating to performance arts. It's also two completely different languages. We've learned that if we want to make this a really strong collaboration, we have to find somewhat of a lingua franca for us to speak, and I think we've done that really well. I'm leaving this with a new knowledge of collaboration and teamwork. I think my biggest takeaway is that it makes me a better dancer and I love seeing a uniqueness and I hope that as a dancer I can bring that to my dancing as well.